Here come the Capulets. Well, by my heel, I care not. Follow me close, for I will speak to them. Ladies, good evening. A word with one of you. And but one word with one of us. A parrot with something. Make it a word and a blow. You shall find me apt enough to that if you will give me occasion. Oh, could you not take some occasion without giving? Mercutio, thou consort with Romeo. A consort? A consort with Romeo. Dost thou make us minstrels? Oh, thou makes minstrels of us expect to hear nothing but discord. Come, oh, here's my fiddlestick. Here shall make you dance, Zoon's consort. We speak here in the public haunt of men, either reside into a private place to reason coldly of your grievances or else depart. Your all eyes gaze on us. Men's eyes were made to look and let them gaze. I will budge for no man's pleasure, I. Oh, peace be with you two. Here comes the wretch. Romeo, the hate I bear thee can afford no better turn than this. Thou art a villain. Tybalt, the reason that I have to love thee doth much excuse the appertaining rage to such a greeting. Villain am I none, therefore farewell, I see thou knowest me not. Bitch, this does not excuse the injuries that thou hast done me. Therefore turn and draw. I do protest I never injured thee. But love thee better than thou canst devise, till thou shalt know the reason of my love. And so, good Capulet, which name I tender as dearly as my own, be satisfied. Oh, calm, dishonorable, vile submission. Alice Dakota carries it away. Tybalt, you rat catcher, will you walk? And what wouldst thou have with me? Good king of cats, nothing but one of your nine lives. Well, then I mean to make bold with all, and since you shall use me hereafter, dry beat the rest of the eight. Will you pluck, uh, will you pluck your knife out of the scabbard by the ears? Well, make haste, let's be about your ears are be out. I am for you. Gentle Mercutio, put thy weapon up! <laughs> oh, come, sir, your Posada. <laughs> Help, Olivia, no. get down their weapons! Stop! <laughs> Uh, here lies the man slain by 
Don Romeo that slew thy kinsman, brave Mercutio. Tybalt, my cousin, oh, my brother's child, the prince. Oh, cousin, oh, the blood is shed of my dear kinsman. Prince, as thou art true for blood of ours, shed blood of Montague, oh, cousin. Yes. Cousin. Olivia, who began this bloody fray? Tybalt here slain, whom Romeo's hand did slay. Romeo spoke it fair, then she cried aloud, Hold, friends, friends, part! And swifter than her tongue, she twixt their rushes underneath whose tongue. That be as the rust from Tybalt hid the life of rash Mercutio. But by and by comes back to Romeo, and tough they go like lightning, ere I could draw to part them, uh, was, uh, was old Tybalt slain. Uh, uh, and as I... As I turn, did Romeo turn and fly? This is the truth, or let Olivia die. She oh. is a kinsman yeah. to the Montague. Affection makes her false, she speaks not true. I, I beg for justice, justice which yeah. thou, Prince, must give. Romeo slew Tybalt, Romeo must not yeah. live. Romeo yeah. slew Tybalt, Tybalt slew Mercutio. Who now the price of her dear blood doth owe? Not Romeo, friend. She was Mercutio's friend. Her fault concludes well what the law should end. The life of Tybalt. And for that offense, immediately we do exile her hence. Oh, I have an interest in your hate's proceeding. My blood for your rude brawls doth lie a bleeding. Oh, but I'll immerse you with so strong a fine that you shall all repent the loss of mine. I will be deaf to pleading and excuses. Nor tears nor prayers will purchase out abuses, therefore use none. Let Romeo hence in haste, else when she's found, that hour is her last. No! Bear hence these bodies and attend our will. Mercy but murders, pardoning those that kill.